Well, I'm down at the Gaiety. We're getting ready for the Easter Festival of Plays. We're hoping to cover all of them this year. Uh, Bijou Productions is the first one up, <laughs> and literally we are here every morning while you're setting up. David, yep. uh, David taking yep. part in this one. Um, is it challenging to be the first first class on you? Well, actually, we, we choose to be the first one. Oh, yes. Is that because you um, have time limitation or what? Uh, no, not really. We, uh, we, we get to sort of uh, arrive early, so we get to see all the produ all the other productions. Um, and usually, if you arrive in the middle of the week, you miss the first two or three. Yeah. And also, it's nice to open the festival. So, yeah. yeah. Tell us about the play. Well, the play is called The Night Alive by Colm McPherson, uh, who wrote The Weir. He's famous for, for writing The Weir. It's uh, a play set in Dublin. So we've got Irish accents. Right. Uh, there's usually an Irish team that come here, but um, luckily they're not here this year to judge <laughs> our accents. But uh, it's um, it's set in a. It's not really a bed set. It's a house owned by Morris, and I play Morris. Uh, hence the beard. I haven't had a beard for 30 years. Last time I had a beard, it was very dark and black. But as you can see, it's not anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. So I play Morris, a character older than myself, um, and he he owns the house, and he rents a room out to uh, to his son son I suppose called Tommy um, Tommy meets this girl um, I won't go into too much detail but she she enters the sort of uh, environment of this house um, and all not all hell breaks loose but um, it all starts going downhill from when she arrives okay. is, um, it, is it a drama is it comedy? Yeah, it's, um, it's a drama it's, a, it's one of my favorite things actually so I'd describe it as a black comedy oh, okay. so it's it's quite poignant in places but it's quite really funny in other places um, it's quite dangerous in places um, so it's a good it's a good drama but it it's, it is funny, okay. but it's quite shocking in places as well. So it's it's very unlike any other play I've been in, to be honest. Mm. Now, Gator, you've been here obviously before. Been yeah, we have. Place, yeah, it was beautiful. Like it. Yeah, yeah. When we arrived this morning, the curtains were closed, and as we walked from the back of the stage down, the chap over there yeah. opened them, and it sort of revealed yeah. this beautiful uh, auditorium. Yeah. Well, the, the plan is we hope to get many people to get down to watch it because really yeah. it's good to watch them all because you can then vote yeah, yeah. and take yeah. part in the yeah. proceedings. And unlike a lot of festivals, this one has a real atmosphere to it, um, yeah. and the, the team backstage are amazing um, you're always made to feel really welcome in fact you know even weeks before we arrive we start getting butterflies of excitement um, and some of us flew some of us came by ferry but as soon as you arrive off the boat or the, the yeah. plane there's that feeling of like we're here <laughs> what's it's, it like to be critiqued though about the work you know just instead of just putting a play on you're actually going to get the feedback you get the results yeah i mean that's something. that's um it, it's it's nice mm -hmm. but it's also not nice yeah um it, you know when you're performing it's quite nice just to perform and the audience to enjoy it. So to actually get somebody criti you know, critiquing mm. your performance is, for me, quite unusual and quite... Right, well, I look forward to seeing it. Yeah. And I hope everyone else will make a point. It's yeah. uh, on right way through uh, the yeah, so seventh of us. Yeah, tonight's yeah. the first night and mm. it goes right through to next Friday. Um, yeah. And book on villagetti.com yeah. to get your tickets. And there's some very good plays on as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing those.